Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. That's my day, you know. So when it comes to dying, it ain't nothing. Killing ain't shit either. Enemies know we stay hunting. We know it's wrong, but we love it. Where you wanna take it? We in the streets. We don't mind a little confrontation. Whole lot of gunplay with me and my low. I'm talking pistol with the scopes when we out on patrol. Hunting for dones. My low was a fool when he get it in. Pull up on him like cut, let's slide and he getting in. Lil Mac down, my bro. Ain't gotta prove a point. It's facts over feelings in my SPI boys. M's be the logo. That's my day uno. We ain't friends. It's only me and cuz in this bean. Like identical twins. We on that same shit. They uno. Them be the niggas that I bang with. A lot of politics between both gangs, it is what it is. The homies live the game, That's my man. day uno. Only me and him and his two though beans. That's my bro. We don't call each other friends, day uno. Even ride with me to the end. Even let me have the last shot at him. That's my day uno. We stay cracking. And when I die, he one of the niggas carrying my casket. Game bang acting. Really with this shit, stay banged up. My day one ain't never changed up. That's my day uno. That's crazy. Shout out to uh, Tyreek Nasheed again. Somebody said he affiliated with the set. That's news. That's probably why his name was so familiar in my spirit without me being too um, keen on exactly who he was. Because I knew I was aware of his presence and kind of like um, what it meant. But I wasn't, I couldn't really. But he, he shot kids. Shout out to the homie on oh, my mama mama. I really don't know what to say about your boy Kunye West on oh, my mama mama. It's gotten weirder and weirder as the day go by. But if y'all can remember, recall, if you retained a long time ago when he first started going around, running around with that Sunday worship service and all that, I told y'all the authenticity of his intentions were definitely in question. Not based on the fact that I am professing to be a Christian or a religious person and then hypocritical or being judgmental, holier than thou, saying I do it better than you. However, the same way a commentator that is an expert at the sport can sit back at a microphone and observe active current experts and give their commentary and their expertise, I am extremely familiar with the principles, um, doctrines, and ideals that govern the Bible. So as I saw him out of nowhere, just like he did upon his introduction, start hollering Jesus. I, I, once he came out with the Jesus walks and then the way his career took, I found it quite ironic. Just based on the lack of Jesus that had been inserted from the inception. However, when he came back to this ultimate praise position recently I felt that it was very insincere and inappropriate and even sacrilegious if not blasphemous in my opinion based on my knowledge of what the institution of Christianity actually stands for not in personal judgment of one man or another I just know how to associate um, an official attempt from a public standpoint of as an attempt to adhere to the principles because I am quite familiar with the principles. But then, dude then went now and digressed from, I guess, and, and what I want you to be aware of, I realize he doesn't consider it a digression and typical society doesn't consider it a digression. There has been an inclusion um, that's been accepted that hasn't been generally in the past because um, the Donda, Everybody know he just did the Donda thing. I learned a lot from these young people that I'm gonna play this clip. It's a little over two minutes. That's why I'm not gonna speak much on the subject. So I don't wanna stretch this subject out too long. We could talk more about it when we open up the lines here shortly in the future. However, these young men are Bible abiding Christians by profession. And I'm not in any way, form or fashion for those that like to get in the comments and get things misconstrued, I am not promoting, pushing, or even professing uh, 
and adherence or commitment to the Bible at all. I'm just saying, as any individual in this point, Mr. West, is in the public expressing himself as a follower, believer, not only that, as an example and a leader, a forefront individual of a Christianity based movement. Um, and then professing he's turned his back on his old life and now has lived a new life. According to the Bible, not that I saying I am in the Bible. Don't get that mixed up, y'all. I'm just saying I'm familiar with it. So I'm just saying if we're going to analyze or assess the situation based on him saying this is what he's pushing the Bible. Listen to what the Bible actually has to say on a lot of the things that took place at this recent concert. And then it'll probably put in perspective as to why it is quite hypocritical for Cuz to run around in a fashion that he did professing this old time religion, even with a new twist. He's gone so far um, away from what is traditional or appropriate or doctrinal or biblical. So let's just check these youngsters out. And they are Bible believing 100% professed Christians, different from myself. However, the point is made in their presentation. So shout out to these youngsters. I don't even know who they are. Oh, my mama, mama. Christians and unbelievers, you need to wake up to the evil and the darkness that's happening right before our very eyes. Jesus said that in the last days that many are going to turn away from the faith, being deceived by false prophets, wolves in sheep's clothing, by lying signs and lying wonders. And I was very disturbed of the listening party of Kanye West's new album. I don't know about his life and I don't know what he's going through, but I know that during that service that he had, there was something off that did not sit well with my spirit. So let's break down what happened. The name of the album is called Donda, which we know was the name of his mother and some claim that the album was dedicated to his his mother who died at the age of 58. During a part of the service, there was the name Donda enchanted 51 times with pictures showing on the screen. Now, if you know anything about calling out someone's name that is dead, it falls on the lines of calling someone from the dead, which is witchcraft, also known as necromancy. Now, the Bible talks about necromancy in Revelations 2, 6 and 2, 15. And it talks about the Necolations, who were people who practiced child sacrifices in the worship of evil spirits. Necromancy is the practice of magic involving communication with the dead, either by summoning their spirits, raising them from the dead, fortune telling, or to use a dead person as a weapon, sometimes referred to black magic or witchcraft. That is an abomination to God. It's something that the Lord speaks very strongly against and is to be avoided as much as any evil. You can't play with witchcraft and calling people from the dead. Those who die immediately go to either heaven or hell there is no way you can communicate with them if somebody is telling you that you can contact a dead person they are either being used by an evil spirit or familiar spirit which is witchcraft and then in the bible it says god will not allow a witch to live witchcraft is dangerous and many christians are struggling with it now and also let's look at what they were wearing during the service they were all wearing black which represents sin and the color of darkness god is light and there is no darkness when satan fell he was cast into utter darkness so that means that god is nowhere in darkness and that entire stadium was full of darkness let me tell you something people jesus is coming back soon and this world is going to get more darker and more evil but you have to give your life to jesus now so that light can come on the inside of you the bible says we all sin and fallen short of the glory of god the wages of sin is death but his gift is eternal life through jesus whoever calls on his name shall be saved and if you want to be saved you want to receive that light you want to get rid of all witchcraft and all demonic attacks in your life pray this prayer with us and believe it in your heart and say jesus be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Forgive Savior. me of all my sins. Of all my I, believe I believe you're the Son of God, the Son of that, God raised from the dead. that raised from the dead. I renounce, I renounce all, spirits all spirits of witchcraft, of witchcraft sorcery, sorcery, divination, divination and, every and every seed planted by the devil. By the in Jesus' name. Lord, Lord thank, you thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. And if you prayed that prayer, I want you to type, I prayed, I'm saved. If you need further prayer, just DM us on TikTok or Instagram. Share this video with at least 10 people. Let them know witchcraft is bad and Jesus is coming back soon. We love you and we're going to see you in heaven. Share this video. God bless you. Oh, my mama, mama, homie here talking about I'm 32. It's been the last day since I was a toddler. That's not the debate here, brother. You obviously, obviously missed the whole point. All I'm saying is... We're going to take the analogy out of religion or out of the Bible. Take it to football. Just saying. Take it to the scenario. Um, Seattle Seahawks on the one-yard line in the Super Bowl. A lot of people would say that they ran the wrong play when, they, when Butler intercepted, right? However, the play they ran 
whatever you want to call that, when this receiver made a route and did like this, everybody said that was the wrong play call. But nobody is arguing about the name of the play, the route that was ran. They all agree. Even the people that say he should have picked a different play. All I'm saying is, according to the play, when the receiver went in for the pass, that was appropriate, like we all agree. What Kanye is doing on that play, instead of running in like he's supposed to on that play, he's doing a whole nother route which is not conducive to that play. So if that play was called an uh, eagle right slant left on three, it's not an uh, eagle right slant left on three when that receiver that's supposed to make that hard end does an out instead. And that might have confused some of y'all even more. But all I'm saying is, this is one of our favorites around here. I ain't going to shy away from it because of that. It's just... I'm not even on no personal campaign trying to knock any individual down. I want to remind all those that perhaps are listening that are not aware, this platform was not established off of analyzing and going through um, celebrities' activities and headlines. However, it was established upon me just opening up the lines as far as communication to the general public and then to the Google gang, my personal loved ones that have been on this journey with me for a long haul and join every day. But the whole format was me being candid with questions. And to be more responsible, um, I began to leave the questions alone in the chat so much because I found myself so just keeping it to Google, answering things off the cuff. I found myself being irresponsible with some of my subject matter and commentary because everything is not um, designed for public discussion. So, but I did realize when I'm coming to a group and I'm not coming here as a teacher or a professor of anything particular, I would be very selfish to try to impose my general interest upon the audience when they're constantly giving me their um, primary interest of discussion now I just I'm not discussing anything here that I would not discuss in my personal life all these conversations all these names are the same names that come up in the barbershop if you pull up the blow on with a homie at the studio uh, anywhere you go even if you happen to be out on a date these the same subject matter comes up so the fact that we're discussing it publicly uh, it only is dictated by those who have come here to listen and I've switched it from the comments in the chat to now I rather receive the submissions in my DM of the same questions and content that would uh, pop up in the chat I still uh, hold myself to keep it a Google and not duck you know the touchy subjects but I have more uh, ability to be responsible and cipher through the subject matter and find things that are just a slightly more um, applicable to you know what we do here on our platform but with all that said it is definitely imperative that we do like we always do especially when you can see an individual go from spitting in all our face and say slavery seems like hmm, a choice and we got this fake cancel culture going around. Look like the, that was like the beginning of it. They breathed it on him. And Cuz went from whatever he was then to almost doubled in relevancy in the industry. And the buffoonery and the coonery has not ceased. So it is our duty, as it always is and always will and shall be, to read between the lines, y'all. Oh, my mama, mama. Court had to fight a couple of cases. Practice don't kill when you come in a place. It be written on they face. Some motherfuckers is racist. Fuck trial, shit tricky. Give me the deal. I ain't never seen a real killer beat a pill. Shooter gotta ride a future if he got a date. 
Behind the gate, lot of politics to tolerate. Sitting in the car, can spit a cigar. To my niggas on the yard, send my biggest regards. He don't wanna run it back, he already ran it. He had the fat on his back, cause I'm heavy handed. Wanna catch another fame, we can follow up. But I ain't waiting all day, niggas squabbling up. Gang of anger, got it all bottled up. Gang bang, whole world follow us. Evil signs you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong, cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Evil signs you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong, cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Like niggas clown, need to be in the circus. Put these buses on the turf, they defeating the purpose. The first to return when the enemy serves Immediately on ease These yeah. weenies be nerve Dedicated to a section that didn't deserve us It turned us into murderers And then the deserters Number one lesson I learned in the pen When you lose your respect You can't earn it again Smoke a lot Classified most faded The love won't be satisfied To all his folks made it This cabbage patch where he caught most of the damage at Perhaps he know a magic class The surgeon that can manage that Ask me I'm just a project of my habitat Narcotic habits where they quick to let you have it at They call me talking about he need half that I'm laughing at him as if my little bad is having that Evil signs you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, read between the lines Evil signs you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, read between the lines Mama, mama, that's read between the lines available on all digital platforms. Sniper and that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Black all box, right. production. Black box, production. Black box, production.